Hello, once again, my name is Enoch Garcia. I am the founder of Honest Accounting Group, a bookkeeping and QuickBooks pro advisor firm. And today we're discussing job costing. Many businesses need to track um, expenses per job to ensure that they are being profitable. So let's get to it and uh, let's set you up. Okay. Um, First, we have to go to account and settings, the gear icon, company account and settings. And what we're going to do is turn on track expenses. Now, I already have it on. However, this is where you would go track expenses and items by customer, save, done. Okay, so now we are going to create an expense so that we can start tracking it. Okay. So let's say we have this expense that we're going to enter and it's going to be for Brosnahan Insurance Agency and it was an insurance expense, insurance, exp oops, insurance expense and, and it was a thousand dollars here. This is the, the, the column that that setting we just turned on um, shows. If you turn it off, this won't show. Um, or if it isn't on, this won't show. So this is where you enter um, the expense for what client it's for. So in this case, I'm going to use Freeman Sporting Goods. Okay. Fill it out uh, further. You choose the payment method, check. Let's say the check number was 100. We used our checking account, payee, and so on. So this is our client information. Gonna hit save. And now let's exit. So beautiful. We created the expense. We allocated that um, that expense to that job, which was Freeman. Now let's look at it on the reports. So if we go to reports, we can go profit and loss. And we're gonna customize this profit and loss. Okay. To assume the dates are correct. So this is the general profit and loss for the entire company. We're going to customize it because we just want the profit and loss for that specific job. In this case, it was Freeman Sporting Goods. And let's hit Run Report. Beautiful. So as you can see, the profit and loss changed. The insurance expense, which is what we paid, is two thousand. Let's open it to see why it's two thousand. Okay, so here I had created one already as an example, but it was an insurance expense we created for a thousand dollars. Check one hundred on June twenty six, two thousand eighteen. Okay, now if you have a scenario where you have the same customer but multiple projects. What we need to do is create a sub customer for that for your uh, for your client. So the way we would do that is go to sales, and we're going to do new customer. Now, well, what I would do in this scenario is sporting goods. This is going to be the name that's going to be displayed if you print a check. The company could be Freeman. Sporting goods, um, or actually, here we're gonna put uh, whatever you like. It could be the address one two three four Main Street. Uh, fill it all out. Contact information, contact person, etc. Um, this is the section that's important. One two three four Main Street is a sub customer of. Freeman Sporting Goods. All right, it gets automatically filled in. So what this is going to allow us to do is after it's all filled out, hit save. What this is going to allow us to do is the following. Let's open that insurance expense that we created. All right, so at first we just created towards, we applied it towards Freeman Sporting Goods, but now we have uh, that sub-customer of Freeman Sporting Goods, which is 1234 Main Street. So now when I hit save, let me 
you know what? I just noticed I made a mistake. Display it as one, two, three, Main Street, and this hit save now. Beautiful. So one, two, three, four, Main Street is a sub customer of Freeman Sporting Goods. So now let's go to reports, profit and loss. And once again, we're going to go to customize, filter, customer, and stop Freeman. Now we have uh, one, two, three, four Main Street. And we're going to hit run report. And now we haven't allocated anything. We just created one, two, three, four Main Street. So it doesn't have any expenses other than the one that we just applied to it which is this insurance company. So once again, in order to create um, multiple jobs for one client, you would have to create a sub-customer. And therefore, when you create an expense, you would apply that expense to that sub-customer. And then when you go to customize, as we just did, you'll be able to create a profit and loss for everything applied to that uh, sub customer. As always, if you have any questions, our contact information is in the description below. You can also leave a comment and let us know what you'd like us to cover next. Please hit the like button, share it, and subscribe for more QuickBooks tutorials uploaded weekly. Thank you.